Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to the second episode of my Minecraft Python pack series, my friends. Thank you so, so much for the support you showed in the first episode, my friends. Reaching nearly 900 likes on the first episode, which is super, super appreciated. Now, don't forget, guys, if you are enjoying the series and you want to continue seeing more Python pack, if you're hyped for it, then do, of course, be sure to drop a like rating and a comment, you know, or whatever, whatever you might want to comment about. But anyways, we're going to start off by going to sleep real quick in the open. Ooh, because why not? But uh, yeah, before we get into anything, I just want to let you guys know that I've actually added and configured a couple of mods since the first episode. First of which is I've added the underground biomes mod, which basically goes ahead and adds a whole bunch of stone. So what I did in order to sort of regenerate the world is I went into my save file and I basically just deleted all of my region files, which basically means that the world will regenerate, but I'll still have all of my stuff, which is super awesome. So yeah, you can see we've got all the stuff from the first episode and everything is looking good. The other mod I installed is one that's quite simply called Streams, which goes ahead and does exactly what you think it will do, in that it adds like little streams here and there. So, I don't know, maybe we'll be able to find one in today's episode, just so you guys can, uh, you know, have a bit of a look at it. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, you can see we've got all these new stones around. What's this here? We've got Comatite. So, as a result of all of these new stones, what I kind of figured is that regular stone is going to be a lot rarer, because obviously all of the other blocks are going to be taken up with the underground biomes blocks. So, what I did is I disabled the cobblestone recipe from rocks. And now, if we just break this, we just get cobblestone straight out because I saw one comment in the first episode where it was like uh, the pack encourages you to build but cobblestone is like 10 times harder to create and I was like yeah do you know what that's a fair enough comment actually and uh, especially since I installed the underground biomes uh, mod uh, you know I've just made it so we can get cobblestone from this stuff now and it's the same with the other rocks as well andesite diorite and granite we get the stones themselves now and the rocks so yeah everything is looking good oh here we go Yo! Here's a stream from the streams mod. As you can see, it literally is a stream. It's it's flowing, so if we just hop into it real quick, it is a proper flowing stream. And it even goes down a bit. Look, look at this. The, the water flows all the way down a few blocks, all the way into the ocean, which is super awesome. Holy crap, man. Yo, that's brilliant. But anyways, guys, I'll digress. In today's episode, what we're going to go and do is we are either going to try to find ourselves a shelter or we are going to build ourselves a shelter. So, oh, what is this? Hello, we have ourselves a desert biome. I mean, you know, I'm not going to complain about no desert biomes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what have we got going on down here? This is quicksand? I can only assume it's quicksand, right? What is this? Siltstone. Ooh, so much new stuff. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. Oh, my God. So, uh, in other news, my friends, in terms of getting this pack on a launch, I know a lot of you guys in the first episode were like, well, uh, why have you kept private to yourself? Why, why, why am I not able to find us on the launcher yet? The reason that is, is because this is a 1.11 pack and among the first ones out there, I kind of figured what I'd do is keep it private to myself for a little while just so I can have the freedom to install and remove and configure mods, uh, you know, when I please. And then uh, when I feel like the pack is properly, like, complete, in air quotes, I'll go ahead and I'll try to submit it to a launcher as a third-party pack. So third-party pack meaning you'll need like a code to unlock the pack and then you can download it that way and everything will be good so uh, yeah it is not to say that it's not coming the mod pack will be coming on launches as a third party pack soon my friends soon tm <laughs> so uh yeah Alrighty, so we're exploring this desert currently and to be honest there's actually not a great deal of uh, stuff going on and uh, you know the danger of being in this biome is the fact that uh, you know our temperature is going to start rising i saw the little arrow and the ball there go up so we need to be careful of that. So, uh, yeah, okay, so our thirst is starting to go down as a result of the high temperature as well. So let's go ahead and uh, drink this a little bit. There we go. All right, so our canteen is now empty. We need to refill it up, and then, uh, you know, we need to, like, get another charcoal filter. Although we don't have any, so crap. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to have a bit of an explore around these here biomes, and we're going to see what kind of things we can find. If we can find ourselves a shelter in the form of, like, a village or, like, a, a ruins building from the ruins mods, then that would be super awesome. But uh, if not, then uh, I guess we'll just keep going until we find something cool, I guess. So, yeah, let's have a bit of an explore, huh? All right, guys, check it out. On the mini-map, there is a red biome approaching, and Huh, I think that might be a mesa biome, actually. A vanilla mesa biome. Ah. Huh. That is actually really cool. 
We might be able to find an abandoned mine shaft at the surface and get ourselves some goodies, folks. That would be epic. Like, that would actually be epic. Wait, what is this? Is that a volcano? What the hell? There's freaking volcanoes here? Yo, dude, that's amazing. I've got to go check that out, like, right now. <laughs> that is sick. I wonder if I could, like, make a base inside the volcano. That, my friends, that would be pretty dangerous, but also kind of fun, I guess. Yeah, that's definitely a mesa biome. Wow, okay, that's pretty badass. Oh, look at all those particles as well because of the uh, lava going towards the water. That's kind of awesome. Huh, okay, why? Right. Should we, should we like, have a look around here? Is there, like, goodies inside this thing? Do, do I even want to know? Uh, oh, what is this? Why is that not flowing out? I'm kind of concerned, in all honesty. Hmm, okay. Well, whatever the case may be, I think we've just come across a regular plains biome, which I guess is awesome. Hmm. Should we? Should we go ahead and make a base inside this thing? I mean, it'll be pretty, pretty well fortified against mobs, right? I mean, you know, they're not really going to come in, and if they do, there's a high chance that they're probably going to get, you know, killed by lava. So... Yeah, obviously if we can, you know, prevent ourselves from getting killed by lava, that'd be fantastic. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of the, oh, it's kind of the dangers of uh, choosing to live inside a volcano, huh? All right, so uh, I think what might be a good idea is if we grab ourselves, what is that? Gabbro cobblestone? Let's see what we can make with that. Oh yeah, look, check it out. You can make yourself like stairs and all sorts with it. You can pretty much make everything that you can with cobblestone with this new stone as well. That's really cool. And you got like specific walls for them as well. Gabbro cobblestone wall. That's that's awesome. Huh. Oh, and we can make regular cobblestone if we have four of them. Ah. Oh, that is actually amazing. That's really cool. <laughs> oh man. That's that's actually really, really cool. The, the, the fact you can go ahead and interchange it back to a, a vanilla block like that. That's really cool. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're going ahead and uh, we're doing this thing. We're going to make this into, into a little bit of a base. And uh, I, I'm glad that... Oh, hang on. Ooh. Okay, yep, that's definitely coming in. I'm glad that you guys went ahead and uh, left your feedback regarding the uh, the survivalist mod. It's uh, it's highly appreciated, my friends. Obviously, if you have any uh, other feedback regarding other mods I've installed or you think I should configure things differently, then uh, do, of course, let me know because uh, I'm always open to feedback and suggestions and all that kind of stuff, my friends. I always read the comments on all of my videos. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yep, that is... Yeah, that's that. Okay, cool. Uh, that's a little peep-out looky point. Maybe I could just go ahead and do that. What do you guys think? Yeah, pretty decent. I could put windows in there. That would look pretty pretty weird, wouldn't it? A little uh, volcano base with windows? Huh? Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Alright, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves a couple sticks. And I'm thinking the next thing we do uh, is uh, make ourselves some torches, light up the situation in here. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to go ahead and uh, grab ourselves a, a matchbox. Yeah, we need to grab a matchbox, otherwise we can't go out and light up these torches. This is part of the realistic torches mod, in that uh, when you use the regular vanilla recipe to get torches, it will instead give you unlit torches. And then with these, as you can see, we did a matchbox, which requires wood slabs of any description and some paper, and uh, then we'll be able to go ahead and get some stuff done. Uh, right. Oh, wait. Do I not have a, do I not have a crafting table? Huh. Apparently I don't. Huh. Okay, right. Uh, let's place you down real quick. Uh, let's get you. That's two... Three, and this will be the fourth, right? Yeah, there you go, buddy. All right, sweet. So, let's get that placed down. Okay, that's looking good. And uh, now what we need to do is get ourselves another three planks to get ourselves some slabs. So, that's the uh, second one. And number three. There we go. Okay, so, I've got a little bit of sugar cane already, which is always good to see. Uh, let's go make ourselves some slabs. Let's do this, and then this, and then there we go. We've got a matchbox, and as a result, we can now get ourselves some lit torches. Sweet! Oh, look at my ball though, man. My ball is going, uh, my ball is going red, which means I'm starting to get a bit hot around here. Hmm. Is there a way that I can keep myself cool if I just look at the, uh, tough as nail stuff again? Uh, let's have a look. We've got cooling coil. How does one make that? Freeze rods. From, free wait, what? Freeze rods? Is there like a mob that gives me that? I mean, look at this. We've got like freeze powder. That kind of looks like there might be like a, a frozen variant of the blaze mob because it's got the same kind of stuff, hasn't it? The freeze rod, freeze powder. Huh. Interesting. So, uh, one of these armors cools you down. I think it might be the jellied slime boots. Well, unfortunately, we don't have slime balls, which kind of sucks. Oh, wow. You can change jellyfish into it. Interesting. 
Okay. Right. How are we going to overcome this? Hmm. Where does one find freezes? I have no idea. We might not be able to live in this volcano. I don't know, man. Look at that. My ball is starting to go slightly more bluer, I guess. Hmm. Okay. We might be okay to live here for a little bit, but I think we may need to, you know, keep our water supplied at all times. Otherwise, you know, things could go pretty bad. Okay. So, uh, what am I doing? I've got that going. I've got wood. I've got furnace. Let's uh, let's place down the furnaces real quick. Let's place them here. Uh, let's get ourselves our bed put down as well, uh, because why not? Let's chuck you down there. Oh, that's right. I was going to make myself a door. That's right. So here we go. We're going to need ourselves another two. So one and a two. Okay, fantastic. And now we can make ourselves a door. All right, fantastic. Let's go and place this baby down. Uh, let's put you right there. And yeah, we now have ourselves a volcano house, folks. <laughs> that, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> oh, man. Right, should we get ourselves a couple chests or something? Just so we can have a little bit of storage as well? Hmm. I think that'd be a cool idea, right? So, yeah. Let's go and get ourselves some more wood. Let's get some chests placed down. Alrighty, guys. So, check it out. We are making the upgrade from a crude hatchet up to a stone axe. There we go, folks. We've got ourselves our first proper upgrade. So, uh, I wonder if that'll increase the yield. Uh, at all. Uh, from the chopping block, of course. I'll tell you what, let's go to sleep real quick. We'll go and grab ourselves some more wood and uh, then we'll go ahead and see how the yield goes, because I think it might be either one or two yield per log now with a stone axe. Okay, there we go. Looking good. It is now daytime. Do we have any trees nearby? Oh man, I made all of my saplings into freaking sticks, so I haven't got any anymore. Okay, so we've got some trees over here, so I don't see reason why we shouldn't just uh, pop over here. Grab ourselves a little bit in the sapling department, move back there, and uh, get some stuff done, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's just get over here real quick. Hello, hello. Oh, there's cows over here. Oh, are they horses? Yeah, there's horses over here. That's awesome. Huh, okay, I mean, uh, I won't complain about having horses around, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of awesome. Okay, uh, little, wow, what is that? Ebony wood. That looks awesome. Oh, check it out, there's cocoa beans on this one. I mean, you know, again, no complaints and all that. I'm finding new stuff every day, my friends. I'm finding new stuff every day, and it's kind of awesome. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Uh, got that going. Wait, something is stinging me, and I don't like it. What is that? Something up here? Is it you? Are you the thing that's stinging me? Let's oh, okay. So, I get hurt if I break it. Huh. What are you doing up there? <laughs> what? That's weird. Okay, uh, what is that? An ebony sapling. Yeah, that is a really cool looking wood. Can I just make that str- Oh, oh wait. Okay, yeah, so we still have to go to the the chopping block. Okay, nice one. So the mod developer took into consideration modded woods as well. So that's kind of nice. I'm actually a fan of that. <laughs> okay, can I like cool down just by going into the water here? Is there something that's going to happen? Hmm. Uh, maybe? I have no idea. Let's have a bit of a drink. Oh, man, we've got the thirsty buff. Dang it! I keep forgetting, that's a thing. Boom. Let's get that, though. All right. Uh, hmm. I'm not entirely sure how I'm feeling about this. Uh, I think my ball is going slightly bluer. It's not as red as it was. I don't think, anyway. Hmm. Okay. Right. Let's go and see the yield of this thing real quick. So, here we go. Back at the base. Let's put this thing down. And let's uh, hit it a few times with this. All right. Is that just one? It's just one. Okay. Oh, man, that sucks, dude. It's still one. So, what? Do I need an iron axe to get double wield? I think it might be, man. I think it might be. We need to get ourselves an iron axe or something of that description. So, what does a gold axe give, then? Does that give, like, three? Hmm. No idea. No idea. But whatever the case, let's just go ahead and uh, do a little thing right here. Let's get that going. I want to make myself a trap door real quick. Wait, we get six of them. Holy crap. With each craft. That's amazing. Okay, so uh, here's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to make myself a little bit of a, a basement here so we can actually start going mining. And uh, by going mining, we'll be able to hopefully get ourselves some iron and uh, get some stuff going in that department. So, yes, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and organize my inventory just a little bit. I'm going to dig a staircase, and if we find a cave, I'll bring you guys back. Oh, blimey, O'Reilly. We've got the Blood Moon rising. Our first ever Blood Moon of the series, my friends. This is not going to... Oh, my God. I'm already seeing a lot of red marks on the mini-map. 
Oh, mate, this is not a good time to go mining. It has to be said. Holy crap. But anyways, the uh, the real reason behind why I brought you guys back now, aside from the Blood Moon Rising, which was completely unexpected, is uh, this. We've got ourselves some iron ore, but instead of it dropping the iron ore, it actually drops iron ore rock, which, as you can see, if we press U, it actually produces iron nuggets, okay? The only way of getting iron ingots from these things, I do believe, is going to be if you pick these things up with a silk touch pickaxe. So again, just something to make the game a little bit more interesting, a little bit more challenging. So uh, yeah, oh, check it out. There's some more down here as well. Okay, nice one. So yeah, the more of these nuggets we can get, the more ingots we can craft, and with the more ingots we have, the more tools we can have. So I'm thinking that maybe... I want to prioritize making a decent pickaxe. Check it out. We've got 39 iron ore rock, which is a very nice amount indeed, actually. Very happy with that. It is going to be enough to make ourselves four ingots worth, which is awesome. So here we go. Let's just head upstairs real quick. Oh my god, guys. Oh, I'm expecting bad things. Bad things galore, dude. It's going to happen. It's not going to be pretty. All right. Uh, so, yeah, that'll do. So, one, two, three. One, two. And uh, let's get these little babies smelting up. And there you go. All right. Let's have a look outside real quick. What is go? Oh, look at that red moon, though, bros. Look at that. That looks amazing. Oh, hello there, Mr. Spitter. All right. We're going to take down our first mob. All right. I don't know, actually. I feel like I've taken down mobs already. Hey, bud. Come on, man. I'm going to take your butt down, son. Yeah, get off me, bro. There we go. Oh, lordy, lordy. Look at the amount of red markers around me, though, man. Oh, this is scary as hell. This is not a good idea. Like, I'm I'm just not going to do it. Oh, crap. That's right. If there's a blood move going on, I can't sleep just to get through it. We're going to have to deal with it. We're going to hashtag deal with it, my friends. Oh, man. This is going to get interesting. All right, so we've got some nuggets. Uh, one more nugget and we'll be able to make ourselves our very first iron ingot, which will be super amazing. But uh, I think what we're going to go and do is we are going to wait until we are able to make ourselves an axe. I kind of want to prioritize an axe so we can get more wood yield from our logs. So, yeah, let's just wait for these to smelt up real quick. Alrighty, there we go, my friends. I've just been digging underground a little bit more just to get the staircase going. And uh, I've come back up and I've managed to get myself all of these smelted up. So, fantastic. We've got ourselves a bunch of iron ingots, which is awesome. I'm not entirely sure where I got this from. Ah. Huh. Okay, uh, well, maybe I could catch it in editing this episode and put it up on screen for you guys. I have no idea how I managed to obtain this. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves some things crafted real quick, my friends. We are going to need ourselves only two planks, like so. Uh, two planks. There we go. Ebony wood planks. Wow, they're really dark, aren't they? Holy crap. They look kind of nice. Alrighty, so here we go. We're upgrading all the way up to an iron axe now. So let's go and check out the yield of the chopping block now. So get this. With the uh, with the stone axe, we get ourselves, what, only one? So, you know, that's that's all right. Just a little, as a little bit of a, a base mark. So let's place down another one. Let's use the iron one and see what happens. Oh, we get three. Wait, for real? We get three? Oh, we get two. Okay, so we get two for an iron axe. Okay, so what about gold tools? Will gold tools give me like three and the diamond ones give me four? I have no idea, but that's that's kind of nice. We definitely have ourselves an increased yield of wood now, which is really, really nice to see. So yeah, I'm happy with that, my friends. I'm really, really happy with that indeed. So uh, once again, organize my inventory and I'll meet you guys down in the mines. Alrighty, guys, it would... Oh, lordy, lordy, what is going on? I've got hyper hyperthermia. Okay, so we're actually extremely very hot right now. This is not so good, huh? Can I, like, do anything about it? Can I, like, cool myself down and stuff? Oh, no! No, 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 no. Oh, God, the hypothermia. Come on, hyper. You got hyperthermia, which is what I've got, which is way too hot. And you got hypothermia, which I do believe is if, if you get really, really cold. Come on. Come on. Wear off. Wear off. Come on, buddy. There you go. Oh, no, it's re... Oh, damn it. It's bloody redone itself. Dang it. Oh, we need to get out of it, like, right now. Can I, like, go in the water to cool myself down? Oh, look at that difficulty meter is starting to get up there as well. Ooh, okay. Things are starting to get interesting, huh? Oh, God. It is, uh... It is not looking so hot out here. Come on, man. Can I, like, just go in here and stuff? Come on. Hypothermia 2? I'm in the water, dude! Come on! Dude! Don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! Come on! Come on! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't do it, dude! Don't do it! Please! I beg of you! I beg! I beg! Come on! We've got thirst! 
come on. Uh, I need to do something about this like right now. Um, I don't know what to do, to be honest with you guys. I mean, uh, we're just dying of hyperthermia. Jeez, dude. This isn't cool. Can I, like, cool myself down and stuff? That'd be sweet. <laughs> it's not doing anything, is it? Jeez, man. Hello there, big gigantic massive tree. Goodbye, big gigantic massive tree. <laughs> Well, guys, I think I found my next adjustment to make this mod pack. Ridding the body temperature thing, because, uh, yeah, this is a little bit annoying. I can't just explore cave systems now. I have to go ahead and make myself jellied stuff, which I can't even do yet. No, I don't think I'm wanting to do that. I don't think I'm going to be wanting to uh, mess around with body temperatures anymore. It was nice giving it a test, but honestly, as soon as I walk in here... That's it. I I'm going to get hypothermia, which is just annoying. So, yeah, like I said, you know, it is an open mod pack, so I can go ahead, add, remove, and uh, configure mods how I please. So that is going to be one of the things that I adjust before going ahead and uh, making the pack third-party public kind of thing on a launch. I'm going to get rid of the body temperature thing. So, yeah. But uh, anyways, guys, we're, we're looking good so far. We really are looking good. We've got ourselves a little bit of a base. We've got some shelter. And uh, yeah, things in general are looking very, very good. And uh, now we can go ahead and uh, do ourselves a little bit of... Wait, do I have any more? Hold on, do I have any more sugar cane? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I can make myself another charcoal filter and, uh, you know, get some stuff going that way. Okay, so, yep, get that going. Oh, nope, let's get that going. Uh, let's head outside real quick and uh, get ourselves a little bit of that. And uh, then we can, uh, you know, purify this a little bit. There we go. Filtered water canteen. Fantastic. Alrighty, guys. But on that note, it is going to be time to end this second episode right here. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this episode and you are excited to see more, do, of course, be sure to drop a like rating. It will help me out, the channel out, and the video out a whole bunch, and it will be super appreciated. And, of course, you can subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future Minecraft content. But for now, my friends, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to get the body temperature thingy configured for next episode. And, yeah, next episode, we'll go mining, see if we can find ourselves some new stuffs. Yeah, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.